Hello guys, how are you doing? This is your friend Alex and on this video I'm going to show you how to move all your chat history from an iPhone to a Pixel 6. And this is something new guys with the new Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Before we couldn't do this uh, natively, we have to pay for software, but now it's free if you have a Pixel or a Samsung, right? So how can we do this? On the iPhone, I want you to go to the App Store and I want you to search for WhatsApp, okay? You're going to click there. And if you see an update button, you need to update it. That's really important, guys, for you to have the latest version of WhatsApp. So now that we have WhatsApp updated, we also want to go to the settings and I'm going to go to general and software update. And I want you to make sure that you have the latest iOS available on your device. You can still do this without having the latest iOS 15.1. But what I want you to do is to have the latest possible iOS on your device. So once I have those two, I want to make sure that I have enough battery. And also I want to show you what we're going to transfer, right? So I have some little text here, emojis, pictures, videos also. Okay. Another video here. And we're going to transfer all of this to the new Pixel. Also on this one, I have more stuff, more pictures, PDFs, different file formats like Excel and Word document. I'm sharing a contact. I have audio messages. Testing WhatsApp audio message. On this one, just a simple text. And on this one, I have more Testing audio. WhatsApp voice message. This is what we're going to transfer. Before doing this transfer, you need to make sure that your Pixel has the latest updates. And I just did an update, security update that went from October to November, security patch. And once it's updated, you have to restart it, then you connect it. So let's connect both devices. Let's see what happened with the special cable from lighting to USB-C. Right there. So let's see what happened. Trust this computer, trust. And then nothing happens, you know? It's not like the Samsung that you have the smart switch that is gonna pop up. What you need to do is you need to go here. Pixel setup in progress. You're gonna click here. Look at this, phones are connected. We'll use your Google account to transfer apps, iOS, calendar events, and iOS notes. Let's click next. Getting ready to copy. If you have a lot of data in your iPhone device, this step might take a while. It says calculating remaining time. The Google Pixel is accessing the iPhone and is checking what can we transfer from the iPhone to the Pixel 6. And look at this. Choose what to copy, you know, 360 megabytes of 88 gigs. Click on apps and I'm going to deselect everything. And I'm just going to select WhatsApp Messenger. It says chat history and media. Okay. I'm going to click copy. And this is the QR code, guys. In order to look for this QR code, you need to open the camera app on the iPhone, put it on top, and you're gonna read that code. You're gonna click on it and look at this. Move chats to Android. If for some reason your iPhone camera is not working and you cannot read this QR code, you can still do this by opening WhatsApp. You're gonna go to settings, chats, and look at this. Move chats to Android. And we're gonna reach the same window. You're gonna click start. And now we are preparing to move to the new Pixel 6. Continue on your new iPhone. Okay, so they're asking me to set up a pin. I'm gonna skip this. Talk to Google's hand free. I'm gonna skip this. Access your assistant without unlocking your phone. Skip. Anything else? No thanks. Get more tricks. No thanks. Your phone's almost ready. I'm gonna click done. Turn off iMessage. To keep receiving text messages from iPhone users, you'll need to turn off iMessage on your old device. I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna click done. Getting your phone ready. He says, this may take a few minutes. So well, here on my Pixel, I'm seeing that a lot of apps are trying to get installed. So it's taking a long time. So I'm gonna start canceling some of them. YouTube Music, YouTube, Recorder, Google TV, Google Podcasts, Google One, Google News, Google Drive. So I only have WhatsApp pending, camera, keyboard, Android system intelligence. That one, I'm going to keep it because we don't know what it is. But look at this. Now we are on the WhatsApp thing. Installing Android system intelligence keeps stopping. Close up. Okay. And now let me see if... So I have the WhatsApp here. This is still continue on your new phone. I'm going to click on WhatsApp to see what's going on. Welcome to WhatsApp. Agree and continue. It's going to ask me for my number. And my number is country code 1, the US, 754-213-13. And I click next. You enter the phone number 754-213-13. Okay. Now, this is the code that WhatsApp sent to me, 947-654. 
Okay. And look at this, importing chat history, because I got a message saying that I was out of WhatsApp. Okay. But importing chat history, I'm going to start. Allow WhatsApp to access your contacts, allowed. Allow WhatsApp to access photos and media, allowed. And now it's importing the chat history, guys. Look at this. Imported completed. Android in system intelligence keeps stopping. Okay, I'm just gonna close this up. But this is the thing, guys. Import complete. I'm gonna click next. Gonna put my name here. Alex Pixel. Initializing, please wait a moment. I'm gonna set up the backup daily on this account. And I'm gonna select my Google account also. And I'm gonna include videos though. What happened if we just click out though? Yeah, so we don't need to wait for that. Daily, we select our Google account. We're gonna include videos and we are done. And look at this guys. We have all the WhatsApp that I was telling you, all the chat history. Let's see here, look. All the pictures. Oh, this screen is beautiful guys. La Arepa, I have some videos here. So we're just gonna finish this tutorial about installing the latest OS, the latest app. More pictures, more videos. This is just to show you that everything got transferred, right? How about this? Now here, I have different stuff. Pictures also, videos. I have different file types. Let's open this PDF. Okay, yeah, finally, the PDF. That's the PDF. It was a little bit heavy, that's why. And let's say the Excel file. If you don't have an app that is capable of opening that file type, I guess it's not gonna open, but it got transferred though. Once you download the app to open an Excel file or a Word document file, then it should open. You see, you may not have a proper app for opening that device. That's okay. A contact, audio. Testing WhatsApp audio. More pictures, more videos. Yes. Always so play the videos because there's an status. error where you just get the thumbnail, but you don't get the actual file. Everything got transferred, guys. How about here? Yeah, that's just a little message. I need a little Testing WhatsApp voice message. audio. So everything that I had on the iPhone, all the chat history, which is really important, got transferred. In your case, you're gonna have a lot of chat history. On my case, backup was 100 max. In your case, it's gonna be gig, so it's gonna take longer, but uh, that's it, guys. And this transfer is 100% successful. I just show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat history from the iPhone to the new Pixel 6. And of course, this also works on the Pixel 6 Pro and you don't need to pay for any software, guys. What people are gonna ask me is, all right, but how to move from Android WhatsApp to iPhone WhatsApp? That's still in process, guys. Hopefully, before the end of the year, we're gonna have that cover. In the meantime, we can just move from iPhone to Android with a Pixel or with a Samsung device. But once you have it on Google Drive, you can move it to any Android device. So that's not a problem. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to help me. And I'll see you on my next video. Take care.